So, recently I found a good deal, an old scope, an old microscope that I'm planning to do a restoration on. Might not be a video, but I'm going to restore it. It has the condenser holder right there. The mechanisms work still this one took like four modules four lenses I have to redo the top I have something to vary the height but this one also has a fine tune so it's a good scope for these reasons but this is not the topic only this is not the only topic i also found some of the lens i got a 10 times a 40 times and a 100 times right there so in the meanwhile i realize you can buy you can buy these things to remake your scopes but you can also i can also use them on my scope i made so I had to make the test and I did. So what I did was I 3D printed a piece, an eyepiece that was large enough to take these lenses. So if you saw the video I did about making this scope, I 3D printed the eyepieces. So I just 3D printed one large enough so these things could enter like this and I just placed it right there. And I'm able to get good pictures. So I'm going to show you some shots using at least the 10 times on this scope right now. So, using the lens, I have these are the shots I'm getting. So we just go around the specimen a bit. So what you're looking at there is some duckweed. Upon that, a lot of duckweed, I took some water specimen and there's a f you, there you have a few things living around the duckweed. So overall, these lens are working quite well. So I can literally buy this lens for like 25 bucks, 15 bucks, 30 bucks and use them on my homemade stuff right there. Check this bug out. Alright, because you can see quite good stuff in there also, just using it like this, you know. It seems like we had a stentor there right a while ago. Let me see if we can. It's a stentor, it seems. Look at its mouth. If we can affirm that. So all these things are living around the duckweed root system. Lot of mite like creatures. Another stentor. So this is with at least the ten times. I will look at the one I'm using at the moment for you. So this it's a duckweed root. 
Okay, you have something interesting passing here. It's observing the scene. It's hiding under the dark weed root. You may have some silates passing around. We have this sample has a couple of stenters. Anyways, let's visit this thing a bit. See what else we can find. Down there, more mite types, more like water mites. It's so cool that you can see these microscopic bubbles. I'm telling you, this, this sample has a couple of stenters. I'm just going along the route of the duckweed. That's probably a leaf, a duckweed leaf. Another stenter. We have a roti for here. So anyway, let's continue. Yeah, it's a rotifer. The rotifers are usually wait for them to open their mouth to affirm it's a rotifer, because they look like other creatures. I usually wait for them to be in a feeding mode to confirm that it's a rotifer. I'm 
so how rough if it is. So let's continue with the lens. So let's zoom out. First of all, let's zoom out, and so that we can come and see the mechanism. So that's what I'm using. So let, let me drop the, the adjust a bit. And remove this so you can see how it is set up there. All right. So here's, here it is. You see? That's how it is. In there. Okay, so it's the same principle. I'm going to remove it so you can see how it is. Same principle of the hole right there. And I place this lens in there. So I said before I start cleaning up the scope and doing stuff, I would show you like this is a bigger hole. It was 3D printed. And right now I am using what number? What number is this? Yeah, it's the 10 times right there. Okay. And it worked quite well, quite well. And I also have a hundred, but I'm doing a clean up on them at the moment. I was just testing if they, if I can use them like this, so I can buy different one. This is the hundred and the other one is a 40. It holds like at least four of them. So yeah, before I got to the restoration, I already tried this lens out and it seems, and mainly I'm using them like this is to see if they still work, if they have no problems. Because in the state I got this thing, was hanging around somewhere close to mud for, for years. So I'm using my scope to see if these lenses are not damaged. So as you can see, you can buy these things places like eBay and Amazon. There are some more. This one is a bit more expensive. They are also oil-based objectives. And so on and so on. So, let's end this on some crisp and beautiful shots of the micro world. I hope you have fun with your setup I know lately I've been seeing a lot of interesting things stentors slates and more nematodes etc I'm out I'm going to sand this thing a bit I'm going to sand on this microscope. There has some rust. It's been sitting under rain and thunders and lightning. And I'm going to try and make it a museum piece or something. <laughs> a table piece. You know, something I have on the table somewhere. It looks good. Already. I'm out.